Okay, um, I'll sit over here. Hello, people. <laughs> so these, yeah. do you guys want to introduce you guys self first so that everyone knows who you are? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. So uh, my name is Linan. And I'm Ravi with a V. And uh, we're already in Chiang Mai. We were actually going to wait and stay in Bangkok, but with all the protests and stuff, we were just like, and also it's kind of really sad there if you've been lately, it's just like gray and boring. So yeah, we're so excited to meet you guys. And uh, we actually just got here three weeks ago. We were stuck in India for seven months. Oh, so um, we're so grateful to be in Thailand. And we're so Wait, excited to meet you guys. How did you get in? Um, we have a smart visa. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're able to stay in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we just we did the two weeks of of ASQ, the state quarantine. Yeah. Um, wow. So if anybody has to do that or has friends, we're happy to talk share to some. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do survive. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. We, we've been, you know, between India and ASQ, we've been mostly living just with the two of us in yeah. one room. So the yeah. idea of living with community in a so spacious exciting. place. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We miss we miss our friends so much, so we're excited. Cool. We're happy to have you guys. Um, and is the volume up all the way? I just want to make sure. Um, yes. do, do you want us to share about our, our work or just say uh, hi? We can a little bit later. I just want to give everyone some general stuff and show the video or what we have time for. Yeah. Sure. Whatever we're cool. feeling. First off, I wanted to say thank you guys all for coming. Uh, a lot of people couldn't make it tonight, so we announced it last night. Um, but they, we're going to give them, this is recording, so we're going to give them a recording and I'll show But also, we, I quickly put together a video of all of the rooms and the prices and everything. As Andy likes to say, it's high style, so not all the rooms are made equal, and so we were like trying to figure out all this stuff um so we made a nice video and we'll share that and we'll also share that with you guys later so you can pick which room you want and what makes sense for you but first off i would like to say that this is like a dream come true for me for like five years uh, i used to own a clothing company and i've always wanted to do another location another pop-up in chiang mai and i actually had this on my website before coronavirus and i took it down <laughs> and then now it's like happening organically so it's super exciting for me um, and the goal of what we want to do uh, is, Andy, you want to share that? No? Okay, I'll, I'll keep talking. Yeah. Okay, so the goal of what we want to do is bring like really amazing people together, especially during coronavirus, because we were up there. And I mean, they can also speak to this as well, but it's so quiet compared to here. And, um, and it's just like not the same Chiang Mai that I'm used to. So I'm really excited to bring you guys all there and like bring you in my bubble of like warmth and you know Google hot like, spots that we love. We've already been yeah. making lists of like all the best breakfasts and restaurants and then um, and people who have lived there before yeah. um, and show us all around. <laughs> so yeah, we just want to like co-work, co-live and have an amazing month or two because we have the option to, to make it two months, which we'll talk about later. But I think um, the best way I would like to just get the video. So you guys, do you guys want to see it? Yeah, I would. Yeah. See okay. It. So let's do. Yeah. It. We can do a share screen so you guys can see the video with us. So is it cute? Right. Or... Let's exit. First. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't know how to do that part. Why is it already? <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Right. So. If you hit this. Okay, we're going to bring the water here. We bring the water. Yeah, just like. Yeah, because I was thinking, why they have the. Awesome. We can see it. Yay. Okay, so they each end on something. So it's on YouTube. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Brittany and Andy. So we found the location. We're so excited. This is our new home in Chiang Mai. Yes, welcome. So we're going to show you a little bit about the space. Let's go. Lana's 
style, which means we're going to high culture. So come on in. And we are so excited. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a space. Welcome to the uh, cool balconies, chill out area, co working spaces. Tons of places to co work and hang out. Okay. And we have a yoga shala next door that we're going to ask to use. Yeah. And we're going to do coffee here in the morning. Yeah, so many fun events and everything. Yay! We look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
27. Uh, oh, Paul said. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Super so, cool. yeah, the, the details are there's limited rooms on each level. So, we tried to make them as reasonable as possible for what they rated us. And um, okay, we have some deposit by what was the day? Next, not this Sunday, next Sunday. We're trying to get everyone to put like 50% what happened if you want to do positive this I don't know I don't know my passport actually I don't know if we'll be able to do um you probably we definitely will get you a room but probably might not be the room that you want because like there's first like but, yeah 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 there's a few things in there that were covered so there's also a shared kitchen spaces oh, that yeah. we can use a kitchen in each building yeah um there's free co-working spaces and then there's like a, a cafe lounge area mm -hmm. Brittany was saying is which meant we will arrange people to come in and serve coffee because there's quite a few like cool funky coffee stands around and also street food because it's like some of the best food in chiang mai from the patrol that people cat around so there'll be lots of new flavors to try uh, in the space um we said we can throw parties in the enclosed space, but also in the courtyard. We saw the happy to have acoustic music. They have like Thai bands who come and play uh, music. Yeah, you to oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> we can uh, hear most of them. Okay. Ah, cool. Yeah. So just uh, just filling in. Um, there's an awesome guy there you kind of heard at the beginning. Um, uh, Thai gentleman, Mr. Beer, who will be our host, and he's amazing. He's so happy, and he, he's to any request, he's like, okay, okay, sure, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. <laughs> so it's great to have that on our, on our side. Um, and yeah, it's a... Yeah, so I think you meant, like, we, Andy had a really good idea to try, we, we want to, like, use this as an opportunity to help the local economy as much as we can, and just, like, bring happiness into the city. So we're thinking of like asking the food truck people if they want to come by like one night a week. So every Monday is like a taco food truck out front. It's just going to be tons of us. So I just thought it'd be like a really fun opportunity to partner with different local businesses and to build up their economy too. Um, and we've already talked. My the the president of the Tourism Authority of Thailand uh, is like an auntie to me, and she is in Chiang Mai. So I already reached out to her, and I think there's going to be some special stuff, I guess, packages for us. Because um, we're such a big group. Oh, I don't know if I told you. Can you tell them how many rooms we have? No. <laughs> we have like, um, I think. You have a comment. Jump in. So. It's not confirmed yet because they still have to go through and do some counting and remodeling. So I think we have about 65 rooms. Wow. <laughs> so wow. it's going to be big. And people are coming. People from Meyer are joining. People from here are joining. And then someone in today was. Telling me that I should put in the Kolanta group. A lot of people are coming up from there. Mm. So, if you guys know of anyone who wants to join or just let me know and we'll give them info, um, I'm worried about that everyone's going to want to join. So, for someone who could be room. We're going to be the only ones in the yeah, it's our yeah, place. Completely um, awesome. So when we sat down to do this, I was we managed, we were like sat down and wrote out what we wanted to manifest. And it was like a hotel that was ours that felt like home. Like um someone who runs the hotel that wants to understands what we're trying to do and like wants to support it, which is the guy who is the hotel manager. Um and we want it to be an essential part of the city. So we're right next to Kobe, which is like the main center of the city. And normally I would never live in this area <laughs> at least it's like, it's not even, because it's super touristy normally, but now there's no one there. So it's going for runs and there's all these hipster coffee shops everywhere on the side streets and there's no one there. And it's just like, it feels like more, it feels more like something right now. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really nice. But like the walking streets right there, right next to Chinatown, but where we are is super quiet. Um, and we, so as uh, Brittany was saying, we have the, um, the hotel to ourselves, but there is still a community of digital nomads who live there. So as part of it, we're looking to kind of mix in the community that's kind of the same here. They've banded together and made 
made their own space, made their own events. Um, so we're looking to mix in what we do with what they do. So it is, it is a little different uh, from Kopangan style to Chiang Mai style. So I'm sure it's nice for them to do whatever it is we do. Contra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Long hugs and ecstatic dances. And so we'll be sharing that around. But also there's, there's like really cool co-working spaces. Yeah. There's like a engineer. The, yeah, it's a maker space. Yeah, 3D printing kind of space mm. there. Um, yeah, and they, they're still running events up there as well. There is a community. It's just that, um, yeah, they're looking for fresh yeah. 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 spaces, fresh adventure. Thomas, these people already in Shanghai, they can join us, guys. Uh, <laughs> do you yeah. have any questions? How's the Wi Fi? Um, yeah, uh, really good. So we, um, I mean, there's only the two of us, so we could only test it with all our devices. But they were in the in the complex with with like two of the co-working spaces. They have ten spots around, so um, like two around the reception area where we'll be working from in the restaurant, um, and then they have a one for each block. Uh, sorry two for each block of houses so wherever you're at you you're between two or three spots uh and we tested it was like 50, well 46 download 27 upload um we just threw a bunch of devices on there and streaming hd and it, it was all fine and uh, they've also um they mr b has switched on so he was like is everybody going to be using the laptops all the time and we're just going through what we expected and so he's like, cool, we'll just up, up all the packages and make sure it's at the max. So it should satisfy all our needs. And if not, he, he's on the phone. He's happy to help. Great. Cool. Awesome. Yay. Uh, yeah, when I was running Pun Space, we had three different internet providers working at that one time so that if one of them was down, we could put two up. But let's not another, we're going to go early and test everything. So yes. we can have you guys over. We can call work for the day. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Any other questions, concerns, excitements? Okay, you must have talked about this already, but uh, what about it right now? Is it like um, pretty dead or um, what is it about? How did you feel it? Mm. <laughs> um, that's a very good question. I was saying that if I, wasn't, if I hadn't already lived there, um, I would have been really confused because it was so quiet and mm. places were closed. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe it was just such a stark track contrast. Andy, maybe you should answer this. Yeah, so I, I've i been to Chiang Mai, I mean, you guys are there, so you know, um, but I'd only been to Chiang Mai briefly for like two weeks, um, February, just before this whole thing kicked off. Um, and then it was busy, busy, so the hostels were kind of full. I, I stayed there for two weeks and I had to move every couple of days because of the winter, but this time, there's still people around. I mean, it's mostly because we're in the, the old city. So at further you go, the old city is the tourist area. The further you go away from it, the more normal it is because there's a lot of ties going around and that's where the expats have settled. But in the old city, it's where the tourists would have come and stayed short term. So what I found is if you're on the main road, it looks like normal life. The, the cafes are open, the restaurants are open, but as soon as you go down the, the little roads into the old city, the cafes mm -hmm. are just closed because no one's, no one's exploring. Um, there's not the tourists, you just be walking around and finding stuff. Um, what, we, what was great is because Brittany's lived there for so long, she knew all the places that are like our favorite places that we've supported. So yeah, like so cookies. Like cookies. Yeah, we, I found place. little cookies. I found cookies. I found uncle. So it's kind of like the Chiang Mai equivalent <laughs> of our favorite coffee places that do like the set breakfast or the croissants or the really good coffee. And they they still had their community. So people who were supporting them. So there was always like, uh, yeah, a handful of people in each different place. And then sometimes it'd be rush hour and people would turn up. I mean, I think the key is there, there is a community and there are people there, but they're long term people who are in their long term accommodation doing their routines. And so you're not really going to see them unless there's an event to pull them to or do something cool. Mm -hmm. So Brittany went to a couple of pies when they were there and I was asking, like, and you were saying there was a couple of hundred people bouncing around pies. So there is yeah, still a scene, 
you just have you just have to find it and know and so that's something i know it's because when i when i was there this time as a tourist i was trying to find a noodle place and then that was closed. So I was like, cool, I just got the other one and that was closed. And I, I spent like 15 minutes walking around and I'm just like, I should just ping Brittany. She says, go to this one. Yeah. And I went there and there's like 10 people and it's fine. So it's just knowing where to go will save a lot of time at the moment, um, knowing the good places. Um, so I think uh, also on the other side is the, the opportunity of being, it's, it was a novelty to be a Karanga. Because they, they were kind of like, where, where are you from? Where have you come from? <laughs> they were like asking questions. They were really happy to see. And then they were really keen to make sure I was happy and um, showing me around and super patient. And that's, uh, to me, it, it was very fresh compared to the Thai that I'm used to in Kofangan, who are really nice. But over that, it was like way more patient and warm. They really wanted to know you. Whereas here, now it's more like that because there's less of us. But um, it really felt, yeah, it really felt warm. Also, we're going to organize some events. Yes. I used to run the co-working space there. So I used to, I'm used to organize all the events. And um, I'm excited to bring all of my friends who have lived there for like five years and meet all of you guys. It's going to be really funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we, we love to hear it. I think, um, I'm curious too, you know, this is my first this would be my first time really living in community like this and so I'm just personally curious um, I think I have an idea but what's what's kind of the intention I'm um, driving you know 50 60 people coming together you want me to answer that or them <laughs> Which one? I, you, you, Whoever. yeah you yeah. can answer but if people want to kind of pop forward <laughs> and chime in just um yeah is the I, in, intention I, yeah go are, for it are you guys interested I, I can answer it a little bit. Uh, I've uh, so for me, I um, like have an interest in the future maybe and uh, doing like working online and stuff. So for me, it would be like an insight into this life and uh, getting to meet 50, 60 people who are working online who would show me like all the different paths you can go because everyone's doing different things. Someone's editing videos, someone's teaching English and stuff like that. So for me, it would just be like I would get so many impressions from everyone and kind of see what this lifestyle is like. Mm -hmm. So it would be a great because it's a bit hard to find if you're just working by yourself somewhere. It's a bit hard to find other people who does it. Totally. Great answer. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like for me, I think it will be a perfect balance between like getting things done and having a good time, you know. Mm -hmm. So you there will be lots of events, but also we would work because a lot of us are working, so mm -hmm. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, uh, I mean for me I'm I'm looking forward to travel. So uh, you guys were saying you been in India for months and then well, you've been in four walls for a while um, we've been in a, uh, we've been on the island which has been really nice but again most of us have been on the island for months if not a year pretty much and so an opportunity now it's rainy season that's going to pass through um, which is hit or miss here but I've been through a few and I'm not gambling it. So for me, the idea of <laughs> the idea of uh, going on an adventure, getting a cool group of people together, exploring together, and you know, like uh, Alex was saying, leveraging our experience. We're all coming from different lifestyles. We've all had a different journey here during lockdown, and I think it's nice to take that somewhere else. Um, yeah, and have some fun. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I'll say that um, having lived long term in Chiang Mai, considering that my home and then coming here and then being here for like seven months uh, and then going there, I had a lot of feelings. I was like, I miss the island. I always don't want people I love, but then like the city's different and like coronavirus is a real thing. And um, I just think facing all of that with a community of people who also are facing the same thing was really beautiful because uh, it's a really crazy time to be alive. And I think we've been so protected from it on this island. Like, we all joke that this is like a mini Burning Man. 
So we're all here like having fun and having these spontaneous connections with everyone. And then there it's like people are going through a rough time. And um, but it's still such a beautiful city. And like there's a lot of really amazing things. And I've been reaching out to like all of my friends there that are Thai and they're so excited to meet all of you guys. They're just like, you guys, there's the Thai people up there. Um, I don't know, a lot of them go to inter international schools and so they're a lot more Westernized, I don't know. So like a lot, most of my friends up there are Thai. And Andy met some of them, a lot of them. Some of them are in the police force, some of them are doing all these random things. Um, so it's cool and excited to be here. What about the mask and medical right for the virus uh, over there? Is it like the street? Is it like Bangkok? Is it uh, like here? Yes. Good thing I made a video on the way here, on the way to my doing that. Uh, but maybe you can answer that one. So, yeah, uh, for me, it was getting to the airport. And of course, you had to wear a mask on the flight and everything. But um, it's just being reminded to wear the mask. And I wasn't sure, because here you're just so used to not. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, and then waiting at the airport on the taxi. But as soon as we're in the taxi, the taxi guard put it up to welcome us in, and then just took it down. And then, <laughs> and then from then, everybody's kind of talking. And um, when you get into the city, if you're in a mall, then yeah, there's a, tens of thousands of people coming and going. So everybody has a mask on just out of courtesy, and the same in Seven Eleven. But other than other than that, it's yeah, you'll see tourists. The Thai tourists and the Chinese tourists having them on, but I think they've just come from Bangkok, so they have that fresh in their mind that everyone's wearing it. Whereas the locals from Chiang Mai, you can see straight away they they'll have it if they go to a cashier, um, but if they're just bouncing around, no one has it on. But it, again, it's the same here. Just if someone's sat behind a till and they're going to speak to a thousand person people a day, it's just courtesy for them not to be breathing on them. Um, yeah, that's. No. Yeah, it felt like normal. It was yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you keep it like before we left, I realized I'd lost my mask two weeks ago and I just hadn't used it because I hadn't gone to 7 Eleven. And that's the only place down here where you need it is 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm. And I just hadn't gone, I've just been eating healthy. So I'm like, oh, wow, I've not, had, I've not had a mask in two weeks because I haven't bought Oreos. And so <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. And so, so now I realized I'm traveling, so I had to get a mask. But that, it's kind of similar up there. It's just you, you keep it on you, but you you throw it on occasionally a couple times a day. It's not all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when we got to the hotel, he did, he kind of giggled and did the temperature check and got us the sign details that we didn't test. But he's just like, it's, it's all, yeah, it's all good here. Yeah. That's been our experience too. Yay. Um, good question. How was the weather out there? <laughs> so right before we came and right after we left it was sunny but the whole time we were there it was overcast it literally it rained like one night yeah, and we got two night. sunny days um, when we drove up to the we drove out to the mountains in the countryside so like a 10 15 minute drive out uh and thankfully the the rain held off for the drive so we were just driving around for me it's amazing because it's it's the different green that than this jungle green. Mm -hmm. Really like bright, uh, um, yeah, really rich green. Mm -hmm. And so we were just driving around there and the weather held off for the whole time um, we were out. Um, yes, but I've checked the weather forecast and it's, I think we were just unlucky. It's meant to be sunny and yeah, mainly sunny, cloudy coming out. Well, it's like hit and miss. November yeah. is pretty sunny every day, like 20 mm -hmm. degrees. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Because he gets super, super fresh into the Yeah, really doesn't. Are the days like a little cooler than here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think um, I love it because it feels like fall or spring, whichever one you like more. I don't know. In the morning, you have to wear a jacket on your scooters. Mm -hmm. And then at night, it gets down to like maybe 16. But it's just nice because you wear like more fancy clothes. I don't know, more expensive clothes. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Like, yeah, you you need a fancy gun to wear that. Yeah, you need t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. Oh, then yeah, you can you can dig them out of wherever you put them. But, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit more cozy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little more cozy. If I put the twenty or fifty on your belly, it's fine. Yeah. It's not going to be cool, but they, they call it more like dry season in the winter. Mm.
But then there'll be like one random weekend where they are like giving out emergency blankets to everyone. <laughs> like all the local time people. <laughs> but that's because they don't want heaters. So. Yeah. And it's uh, so it's obviously more quiet with Westerners, but how is uh, like traffic wise and stuff? Uh, when I was there, like driving was a nightmare. Uh, I thought... It's a lot more quiet now. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, if you go during the university town, so when the university is out, there's a lot of people, but other than that, it's pretty quiet. It's really weird to be on the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm used to just zipping around everyone mm -hmm. and like it doesn't matter. And then like, there was times where there was no one on the road yeah. around the old city. <laughs> Oh, I love this like apocalypse feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was doing most of the driving. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was because um, there's still people on the road. So for me, I just follow. It's, if I don't know how I should be driving, I just follow the Thai person. Yeah. And do what they do. So there was enough people around for me to know the speed limit and where I should be in the road. But other than that, I traffic lights is the only time I have to stop. Uh, okay. Everything else is smooth driving, really easy, no stress. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. I think because we, we picked the scooter up straight from the airport and we were driving around the city and I didn't I didn't think like, uh oh, this is city time. It's just yeah, very easy. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, there is some festivals coming up a few days into when we're there, I think we're like 20th, 21st, 22nd. So that's the Thai music festival. So there'll be Thai tourists coming up from Bangkok. So it'll be busy for a while, but I think we'll have a few days to get used to the roads and city driving. Everybody's used to island driving here, which is like, yeah. you have to overtake a chicken. Um, <laughs> if, if there's like two, two other scooters on the road, it's a traffic jam. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I mean, who who here has been stuck in a traffic jam? No, no. <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe we can end the official part of it with um, us all saying our names and a little bit about ourselves, so that we all can get to know. Because so I think some of you guys don't know each other, and I think it's a great way. We're gonna do a couple more meetups like this, and it'll be more and more people as we get closer. Mm -hmm. um, but okay. Andy, you want to say where you're from, and then maybe pass it along to us. Hi. I'm Andy. I'm from England, um, mostly from here for the last five years. Um, yeah, and I was meant to be back there, and I'm glad I'm not. So, <laughs> next. Yeah, I'm Thomas. I'm from France, uh, Paris, and cannot be staying at this March in uh, my again. Very happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Also, digital nomad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leopold, I'm from Germany, I'm here to see this team. I like to play music and dance and go out and drive the motorbike and look at what I want to do after a show. I'm uh, Alex from Sweden. I, um, yeah, like I said, I would like to be a digital nomad. I need to find a job first, but I uh, might have one. <laughs> so if I get that job, then I would be down to like, come a bit and work remotely. And yeah, I like fitness and training very much and all kinds of sports and stuff. So making smoothies and stuff like that. <laughs> awesome. Did you hear that? He loves making smoothies. <laughs> I'll bring like a big blender. <laughs> well, we, we, we just bought one. We just bought a blender. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so. We'll awesome. get bulk fruit. We'll have a group smoothie party. Yeah. Yes. Oh, awesome. Uh, I'm Brittany. I'm originally from California. I've been traveling for six years now and living outside of the States full time for five years. And most of those five years have been based in Thailand. Um, and I have, yeah, I'm just excited to bring everyone together. Uh, my background's in corporate law, but I love co working and co living. So I started a co living company. And this is what I've been, something like this is what I've been doing for like off and on for the last five years. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to do it like when the world is going crazy, we can all come together. Like to me, it's even more special. So I'm going to I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this to me. So that like, having to hold them. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Kelly, um, I'm from the US as well. I have lived in Asia for about the last five years. I work online 
and I'm excited to go explore the mountains a bit and get a bit of a switch from the island. Is I think this is the longest I've been on the island full time without leaving, so it'll be a nice switch to mm -hmm. the mountain life and see what's up more. She also makes really cool water bottles. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm from Estonia originally, but uh, I don't live there since 11 years. And I think most of the time, like maybe six years, I have been in Thailand and then around. And uh, I'm very happy that I was during Corona in Thailand and I got stuck in Thailand and not in another place. And I'm happy to go to the north now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> uh, I'm Ro, I'm from uh, the States as well. Uh, I've been a digital nomad for about eight years, but I've never actually been to Chiang Mai, which is known to be like a digital nomad original hotspot, mecca. the Mecca. So I figured this might be a nice opportunity to come check it out and uh, just connect with other entrepreneurs and nomads. So yeah, I look forward awesome. to it. Hi, I'm Carmen. I'm from Spain. I've been traveling for four years. And I miss so much traveling. So it's like, <laughs> I'm happy I'm here, very happy I'm here, and I'm staying here, but that's exciting because it's traveling. I'm going to take a plane after so many months. <laughs> yes, that is going to be exciting. Awesome. Hola. How about you? Want to go? Sure. Yeah, hey guys, I'm Ravi. Um, I'm from the States as well. I uh, grew up in Wisconsin and have been living in. Boulder, Colorado for the last five years uh, before being on my own journey, which I'll share more about when we're in person. Um, I'm a yoga teacher. I have a background in tech and startups and uh, yeah, also just love community. Um, I used to run a event. Has anybody been to a startup weekend anywhere in the world? Startup yeah. weekend? Yeah. Uh, so I, I used to work for the company that puts those on and um, Already, I just have ideas of like, you know, how can we host events with our community that we're creating and really getting people connecting and collaborating in special ways. And um, yeah, this just seems like a, a really nice gift. I love the diversity. Um, and my name is Lenan. Um, I'm originally from California as well, like Brittany. Um, was off and on in Austin, Texas, but also I spent a lot of time in Costa Rica and Mexico and Bali. Um, and uh, very unexpected that we were gonna get stuck in India. It was far more likely to be Thailand or Indonesia. And so we're just so grateful to be here to drop in with community. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for over a decade um, and most of that digital um, and nomading around the world. I was full-time nomad for like three, four years. And then I had my place in Texas and then I've been back in Nomad for like two and a half years. Um, and we're actually looking into starting a company in Thailand right now um, amid COVID. So that's um, sort of what we'll be ideating and playing around with. And um, we're really excited mm -hmm. about, about those possibilities. Awesome. We're so excited to meet you guys in person. We still haven't met them either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We yeah. exist. I <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two guys. Yeah. Bye. Okay, I think we will end the official part of this and um, if people want to stay and hang out they can and then we'll send the we're gonna send the video to everyone. Bye. Um, Bye. Yeah, thank you for making us feel so included. Yes, thanks guys. Yay. See you soon. Bye. 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 Ciao, ciao. <laughs> See, you. See you Andy. Thanks. Bye. Bye. What's nice is that this is actually going to be good for everyone else who couldn't come because now they can feel like they're really part of it. <laughs> yeah.